The Prime Minister, Dr. Panabas Sibosison Tamimi, says the country's vision to end AIDS by 2022 is by no means a dream, but a real possibility within our lifetime. The Prime Minister was speaking during the launch of the Swaziland Parliament Strategic Plan on HIV and AIDS. The launch was held at the Royal Swazi Spa Convention Centre. The Swaziland Parliament's HIV and AIDS Strategic Plan has been officially launched. The strategic plan was launched by the Prime Minister Dr. Panabas Sibosiso Tamini, who explained that since His Majesty the King identified HIV as a concern for all of us, they have seen numerous stakeholders in government, communities and development partners rise collectively to address the scourge of HIV, treating and keeping alive those living with the disease and caring for those upon whom the pandemic had impacted, especially children. The Prime Minister says over the years, Parliament has played a significant role in the country's national fight against the pandemic. There have been a number of other members contributions by Parliament. This has not been part of the Free Primary Education Act of 2010 that established His Majesty's government to introduce free primary education for all our children by including all orphans and vulnerable children, many of whom have lost parents from HIV and AIDS. The legislature replaced and upgraded the previous bursary scheme that had addressed the serious problems of hunger and high school dropout rates relating to all these diseases. Under state funded primary education, which included the school feeding program, the number of children educated and fed rose from 80,000 to 250,000. Some support is also provided to all the seats in secondary education. Evidence from the education census shows that over 70% of those children complete the primary education cycle with a transition rate from grade 7 to form 1, about 90%. Parliament's role is providing the broader holistic care of all children extended to the promulgation of the Children's Protection and Welfare Act of 2012. Were introduced when it became apparent that a huge number of grandparents had become primary caregivers for children whose parents had been victims of HIV and AIDS. All were incapacitated due to ill health. The supportive legislative environment has allowed for the development of a critically important policy, such as the Southern National Pharmaceutical Policy of 2000, the National Multi-Sectoral HIV and AIDS Policy of 2008, and the National Health Policy of 2007. The country's vision is to end AIDS by 2022. This is by no means a dream, but a real possibility within our lifetime. Last year, His Majesty and his government launched the Umukubu 
will learn raw web to fast track MUA with our country. The Prime Minister thanked the country's development partners who have generously supported the development of the strategic plan. And he also thanked the Parliament Sessional Committees for HIV and Health for their leadership of the process. The Speaker of the House of Assembly, Temba Msili, and the Deputy President of Senate, Ngomia Yona Kamete, thanked all those who made it possible, or rather who contributed significantly in the development of the strategic plan, adding that its launch is proof that the legislative arm of government is committed to be an active role player to the realization of His Majesty's declaration of ending AIDS by 2022. Sibosisongubane, Sozi TV News, Zulwini.